Greetings, this is Mark Merritt, and I have been asked by the ATSFE gurus to do a battlefield walk around on my new module that I picked up just the other day, Iwo Jima Hill 362 Alpha. Now, this is not a new critical hit module. I think it's been out for several years, but it's new to me. And for context, you know, Iwo Jima, that island out in the Pacific, fought very heavily over in February of 1945. Uh, Hill 362, uh, apparently there's three Hill 362s on Iwo Jima. This is the fight for the Alpha Hill, which is about in the middle of the island or so, from what I can see on the various maps. In any case, this module I got from Noble Knight Game, and we'll go over what it comes with. Obviously, it comes with a front cover and appropriate colors and um, artwork. The battlefield walk-around is on the interior of the cover itself and on the inside of it. It looks very thorough and just... You know, it has everything you need to, to, to know to run this game set fairly effectively. I don't really care for this the battlefield walk-around being in the interior of the um, cover itself, but it works. So you don't lose it, and it stays together. You get no counters with this game. None. Zero. So the outside of the, of the cover states that you need le Leatherneck number one, and you need the ATS common markers, both large and small. Now, I never picked up Leatherneck 1, but I have various other ATS Pacific War modules, so I have all the counters I think I need, even the big 203-millimeter gun, 120-millimeter uh, gun they're talking about here, this Japanese naval gun. I think if you have Taro, well, you probably have everything you need for sure. You do get two sheets of AFV, cards covering Japanese as well as American AFVs that were common in the Pacific War. And including in that is a Type 97B cupola, which apparently is used for one of the scenarios since Baron Nishi had a, a complex up here that he put his tank battalion into and apparently took the turrets off several of the tanks and installed them in top of hills to fight off the Americans. Okay, looking at the map, you get two map panels. That's it, two. This is the bottom half, and that is the top half. I put them together, they're pretty easy. So they would fit on just about anybody's game table. You can see the very Pacific looking terrain. There's no beach assault, so there's no landing craft, no ocean, anything like that. The Marines have landed. The scenarios take place several days after the invasion occurred. Uh, this red gash here is an anti-tank ditch. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't have done that in a different color because it really stands out. But you can see the ferocious-looking terrain. I mean, the Americans are generally going to come in from this direction, and they're going to have to fight their way up the hill. Hill 362 Alpha. Fearsome-looking set of cliffs in front of them with, you know, nasty-looking terrain all around. So that's the map. What about the scenarios, you ask? Well, they do come with scenarios. It comes with six scenarios, and they're not really anything dramatic about themselves. The, the large scenario, if you will, the one that uses both maps, is scenario two. And you can see the Japanese are going to have a lot of mines, they're going to have a lot of fortifications, hedgehogs, bunkers, weapons pits, caves, you name it. You can see how that terrain would make excellent cave ground, and it is. The Marines are going to be extremely heavily armed. The um, Some of the scenarios take about talk about needing aircraft, so you'll probably need some of the Corsairs to uh, flesh that out. It doesn't specify which type. Uh, when I read the scenario instructions, it made it seem as though the aircraft came with the module. They don't. So I'm assuming that they're talking about Corsairs, but whatever you have handy would work. The scenario that looks like would carry most of the meat is right here, Baron Nishi's castle. And this is the one where you're going to use the uh, large uh, guns and cupolas 
You can see right here that you're going to need the Type 97B cupola counters. And lots of Marines. So that is the package. Now, have I played any of these? No, I have not. I just picked this module up a few days ago from Noble Knight Game. But it looks good. I wanted to kind of get this module. This is one I had my eyes on for a while. And so it works for me. It doesn't have a lot of material, and I'm kind of glad I've, I didn't, you know, think that I needed to have a lot with it because I would be disappointed that it didn't come with any counters whatsoever. So if, if you don't have any Japanese counters or any Marine counters, this is probably not the module to start out with. But if you do and you have a decent supply, this is a good addition to your library, in my humble opinion. So again, I want to thank those in the ATSFE universe that allows us to put together these extremely unprofessional but fun videos to talk about uh, the games and the stuff that we like to play. So there you go. Thank you and bye-bye.